Hey everyone, it's Craig here from Craig Vinyl. Um, this is my fourth part, part four or four, <laughs> of uh, a recent vinyl find. Well, going back probably over a month now. So I finally got here. It's it's now Friday night here in Queensland, Australia, where I am. It's been a tough work week. I've been really busy. Um, I actually work in the grains industry and the food industry here in Australia. Work Australia wide, and um, on Monday I've I've got a person from Singapore coming out, so I need to pick her up from the airport and take her to a lot of client meetings. So that's um, I had to do a lot of client scheduling meetings and that sort of thing the last couple of days. Um, so I'm just enjoying a nice, nice glass of um, Cab Merlot or Cab Sev. I'm not sure, but cheers. And a nice cracker, which I. Probably won't eat on t on uh, my vinyl TV channel because um, that might sound really noisy. So I'll put that aside. So anyway, back to the vinyl. Um, I've been picking up some really exciting vinyl of late. Um, I can't wait to um, to show that to you, but that'll be coming in the coming weeks. So um, uh, for those of you who use Discogs, I, I love using that. I look at it every day, checking the value of it going up and down, checking. Uh, my top 20 albums. I know if you use Discogs, how do you sort? Do you sort by uh, potential maximum value down, minimum, or medium? I normally search by medium. Uh, some records have quite a massive range. I think there's one there I've got now, which I'll explain later. I think that the minimum price sold was something like five bucks. The average is like uh, 45, and the top is 140. So I'll, I like to search by uh, medium. Um, anyway, more on that soon. So let's get through this last bunch on part four here. So I'll move through it quickly. Uh, again, another straight act, Diesel and Dust. So Diesel and Dust is the album title um, by Midnight Oil. So Peter Garrett um, in Australia. Peter Garrett has recently been in, um, actually as a minister in, in uh, federal parliament. I'm not sure if he's still doing that. Uh, but this album in great condition, 1988, I think it came out with um, Beds Are Burning, fantastic song, it was a fantastic album. Uh, my other favourite is probably um, Put Down That Weapon and Dream World, all on side one. But beautiful cover, great photography. And uh, Indigenous People of Australia there. Interesting um, text and so forth, but as Molly Meldrum would say in Australia, do yourselves a favour. If you haven't checked out Midnight Oil or Diesel and Dust, check out, uh, search search for on, online, Beds Are Burning, just to listen to that song and tell me what you think. So, Super Tramp, Breakfast in America. Uh, I haven't, again, I haven't had time to hear all these, so um, tell me your thoughts on this album. I don't know anything about it. Uh, Queen, The Miracle. I think this came out in uh, probably about 1990, and the main song that did well in Australia here was Breakthrough. So any, any Queen, you, you can't go wrong, really. Best of Blondie. Uh, Tide is High, Heart of Glass, Rapture. Uh, what else can you say? Deborah Harry, you got to love her. Deborah uh, did a few songs probably around 1989, I think, when I was in 10th grade. And uh, she had a song called I Want That Man. That went top five in Australia. It was pretty good. So she kicked on a little bit. I'm not sure what she's doing now, if anyone knows. <laughs> I need some help on this one. Well, the, the sleeve's a bit split, but Mike Oldfield, Tubular, Tubular Bells. I've seen it around, I heard about it, and um, I played the first song, and you know what it reminded me of? Um, the, the music to the soundtrack of Halloween. Did they use any songs from this? I didn't think so, but it reminded me of, oh, um, the start of Halloween and Jason. I love Halloween. 
Billy Joel, Innocent Man. Um, the shrink wrap makes it look a bit funny, but you can tell that's pretty good quality there, so I'm, I'm really pleased with that. Uh, I aim to get all of Billy Joel's. So I've got about, I've got this, uh, what's it called? House of Broken Glass, House of Glass, can't remember. Uh, greatest Hits, uh, Volumes 1 and 2 together. So I've got a few. Oh my goodness. I think Mum just picked this up and threw it in the bunch, but it's... <laughs> Should I say no more? Look, they were popular in the mid-80s to late 80s. Um, I'll admit, when I was 13, 14, I thought they had a few catchy songs. On this one's Cruel Summer. Probably probably my favourite of theirs. Uh, it's in features in the soundtrack of Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Wish You Were Here, Pink Floyd. Pretty much a staple album for any vinyl collector. Uh, the album with only a few songs on there, but um, absolute classic, of course. A few more to go. Changes Bowie, David Bowie. And uh, as you can see, it's just a collection of songs. I haven't actually looked in here. Uh, what have we got here? Okay, it's a double album. Here's a gatefold. Nice, nice to have some Bowie. Actually, here's another Bowie, Changes 1. And uh, so this, with this vinyl haul, it's the first time I've picked up some Bowie records, so awesome. I've been trying to get some original studio albums, but they've been very expensive, and the ones I've seen, the quality hasn't been as good, so I'll get there. Uh, I've got two more. Good old Aussie Jimmy Barnes, I've talked about him before, front man of Cold Chisel. Uh, this one's got uh, probably his biggest hit is Working Class Man. And there he is standing in the cane fields up in, I assume, northern Queensland. Northern Queensland's where we grow all the cane. But Working Class Man reminds me of uh, when I was about 18, I'd be going to a pub with my mate having a few beers and one time we were there they were doing karaoke so you know, after a couple of beers um, up we went and sung Working Class Man together and uh, we actually got it on video I have not seen it in work I don't know where it is but 25 years or so Glenn if you're watching what a moment in our lives probably two people at the bar watching didn't get one clap and the lady who filmed it at the end said boys please burn this video it is shocking so Anyway, uh, last one, and quite um, quite good timing actually, this lady's touring Australia now, and they say it's the first time in 23 years, a legend like this, to be that long to come to our country. Has she been touring in your country in the last 23 years? Madonna. Like a virgin. Um, you can see across the top there, there's a bit of... Um, cover coming off. I haven't looked inside here. Uh, good old Madonna, typical 80s photo that we're used to seeing of her. Um, but I think this is her first album, wasn't it? So Like a Virgin, Papa Don't Preach, that kind of thing. I think Holiday's on there as well. So uh, I th think I was about 9 or 10 when this came out and uh, I really liked her straight away. Um, yeah, for a while there, I think Madonna sort of was like, mm hmm, she had a, you know, a good following, always popular, but a lot of people I think dropped off. But I think now, looking back, we can all respect what she's done, and uh, she's definitely a good artist. I mean, she looks after herself. I've seen some of the footage of her recent tour, and um, yeah, good luck to her. So, all right, guys, thanks very much. Back to my wine and cook, and uh, what are these seeds and grains, cookies or something? So. Enjoy your Friday night or Thursday night, wherever you are, whatever time of year it is. And um, I'm looking forward to bringing you more videos because I've got some cracker of albums I've been finding. Can't wait to show them to you. And I hope if I have the time to really improve my videos and add a bit of, you know, um, some some uh, some stock photos of albums and some video footage of to, to show you um, 
actual bands performing of the albums I'm showing just to make it a bit more entertaining. So um, anyway, have a great weekend, guys. Um, thanks again. Please subscribe, like, it would be awesome. Um, have you sus subscribe back here to support the entire vinyl community. I really love doing this, finding vinyl and talking about it, and I hope you do too. Cheers for now. Talk to you later. Bye.